Grand Rising, everybody. It's your Uncle 790 Spiritual Savage. We're here to bring you some messages this morning. Let's see how many we can get out this morning. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Select the alarm so that you know all my uploads upload. You feel me? Let me move this microphone. That might be a little bit too loud for the sound. There you go, my little, my little, my little mic. So, so old friend of mine gave it to me a long time ago. All right, so check this out. Um, let's get some thanks to my dad, the Most High, for bringing us here this morning uh, to commune and be divine together. That's what I heard. I just got really happy right now because, you know, I was just talking to God a few minutes ago. And uh, we have a very understanding God, you know, a very forgiving God, a very loving God. And I appreciate that, you know, I got a little tear in my eye just because, you know, it makes me feel good, though. It's good. Tears of joy, in the first, in the, uh, at the very least. Is that what I want to say? Tears of joy. Let's just say just tears of joy. So, yeah, we blessed. We all blessed around this moment. Okay? But it is 6.38 a.m. on January 28, 2024. Uh, it is 29 degrees outside last time I checked, but it's still nice out for January. Good job, Mother Nature. All right? Um... But, you know, it's, it is what it is. What's up, baby? What's up, Collective? Um, I'm going to jump right into this, though. But I would like to just say thank you to Spirit Guys and Spirit Teams. You guys are awesome. You guys are the most wonderful, gentle souls. And sometimes not so gentle. But, you know, sometimes we got to get out there. We got to let them know we're not just loving light all the time. We can be some real assholes. I'm trying to tell you. And, you know, and it's all good. It's all it's all, it's all for the, the, the elevation of the collective. And that's what we're here to do. You feel me? Uh, I'd also like to, I had a dream last night, I had a few dreams, uh, but one of them is, was about love, you know, hey, all about love, right, I just heard, um, Brandy's, um, have you ever been in love, been in love, so that's, what is that, um, I should know that, oh, I should know that. What is it? Have you ever? Uh, have you ever? Duh. Have you ever been in love? Been in love so bad? You do anything to make them understand? Yes, I have been. Mm-hmm. You know, the thing about love is, love is a very funny thing. It just is. It's a, it's a very funny, funny, funny thing, but it's a very kind of enjoyable thing sometimes. A lot of it should be all the damn time. What is wrong with us? I swear we live in this world where we feel like we, in order for us to know love, we got to know pain, we got to know hurt. That's all that's bullshit, y'all. You can't believe the hype. Don't believe that hype. And this is not hype about drugs, neither. This is just a hype. It's a hype that the world be wanting us to understand. We that we got to we gotta allow somebody to hurt us in order for, to know that we really, that they really love us. That's a bunch of bullshit, you know? Um, I just know that for a fact. So let's welcome in love this year. If you've been waiting on somebody to come through, they're going to probably come if they're for you. If it's for you, they'll come. If it's not, well, L, you know, well, L, take the L. I, that's what I just heard. Just don't worry about it. Somebody come along that, that that's for you. Shit. I done been in love and the motherfucker didn't want my ass. But that's when you get petty and then you make them, won't you? And then don't give a fuck. <laughs> but don't. That's what I'm talking about. Let's get some let's get some energies out here. We're gonna ask Archangel Michael to clear out this energy so that we can get a clear and concise message for the collective this morning. Let's see if we can get a couple of them out here. Um, I've been told to use my um, Oracle deck. I got to get some different cards though, so I could. You know, um, being a perfectionist is uh, an illness. It can be I don't because um, I'm wondering I got to get to the science of it we'll probably come back and talk about that later but overall yeah it is and you know nothing's perfect nothing's ever gonna be perfect I think things I think that um, I know that I sometimes I'm way too hard on myself you know you know you, you feel me on that you feel me I'm way too hard cry it's cleansing and it helps you heal somebody needs to know that this morning that you can cry it's okay to cry, man or female, male or female, I should say, man or woman. Um, 
we, I got this new cat. I got this new um. Look, I'd be getting excited. I, look, I'd be wanting. I'd be look. Listen, if we if we ever have a moment to, to sit and talk face to face, um, I'm a lot different than what I am here. You know how Beyonce has Sasha Fierce. Well, I'm Dwayne Bowsey originally, but then this is the spiritual savage. Not to say that it's completely different, but um. Well, no, I'm an I, I like to entertain. Don't matter. But this is different. But I'm really kind of. I don't know. I'm different, a little different. But no, I'm real. I'm, I, you know, I, I'm silly. But you know, I, I still got a little kid in me. I be, I get excited when I get new shit. So I'm like, oh, I got that new cat. I'm gonna show it to you. Hold on, let me grab it. Cause for those of y'all that got cats out there or dogs, so this is called the Miu Color. Miu Color. Um, it's like the f what? It's like the Furminator. The Furminator is like $40, okay? Because I saw that at Target. And I was like, oh, I want to get the Furminator. And I was going to get it one day. And I was like, I'm not going to pay $40 for no damn cone for the cats. So, you know, I went to the Amazon, baby. I love Amazon. You know, I, I, sometimes you get shit the same day. What? Come here. Come here. Stop it. Damn. Cats are spoiled rotten. He done jumped his dumb ass up there. You know what he... Okay, this is okay. But let me just tell you about this. Um, it's M-I-U color. It comes in all kind of different colors or whatever, I guess. But it's a it's a de-shedder. It like for cats... Uh, hold on, because I'm about to beat this cat. Yeah, it's, a, it's for cats with long hair. Or, or it doesn't have to be long hair, but it's... um, It works really, really well. It really does. Um... And so yeah, it was only seven ninety nine on Amazon. I gotta leave a review. I love I love it. The cats don't love it too much because it's a hard it's it's a hard you know it's a hard uh, comb or whatnot. But it still works. Shit. Okay. Okay. That's just a little plug for them because I appreciate that. Mm hmm. <laughs> Somebody's mother's a lawyer, <clears throat> or somebody caught needs a lawyer for their mother. Okay. And their stepsister. Imagine that. Okay. Now I was gonna say something else about it, but overall, yeah. Let's get on with this. Somebody schizophrenic. So, when you are without answers, just ask the divine the right for the right questions as it pertains to somebody somebody be i'm picking up on the fact somebody's being told that they're schizophrenic or you're being treated like one you know there was a minute there was a moment where um people were going around saying that i was schizophrenic uh and i didn't understand why so i did ask the divine like why are people doing this of course for money court cases you know to try to put you in a place of um entrapment i just heard I wrote on the back of this, whenever you are out of anything you need, and sometimes when you have a singular desire, the divine will always provide you, provide, provide, and they will. Um, I think that schizophrenia is one of the most misunderstood uh, illnesses that people have, especially now since we're in the age of Aquarius. You know, a person could tell somebody what they saw, and because a person's not tapped in, their third eye is not open they automatically will assume that somebody's um, somebody's crazy or they got schizophrenia or just because people hear voices they got to be schizophrenic just because people see things that means they got to be schizophrenic you know I um I grew up with somebody who was very smart very sweet smart dude I swear to God he was one of the nicest people I ever met and I just got angry a little bit but he was he 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 had told his people that uh, yellow school buses were following him around, and I'll tell you what. At first, when I heard that back in the day, I I was cracking up a little bit. I was like, "That's some crazy shit." What the fuck was he seeing? Because you know, at that point, I was thinking that it was like you know, like when you have when you when you trip when you go on like a trip. I've never been on an acid trip. Nine forty nine on the clock, but it's like you know, I started to see like yellow school buses like rawr, you know coming. No, but he was being gang stalked. Now that now that I know what I know, he was being he was being gang stalked, and then they put him on medication, 
Uh, he ended up going having to go to stay at home. And I don't even really feel like he even needed all of that. The medications fucked him up even more than him being gang stalked. Why was he being gang stalked? I don't know. But they said he had schizophrenia. And I don't know if I believe that. I just don't. I hope he's I hope he's okay. Because my, nine times out of ten, he was adopted too. And so you have to, you know, we have to ask ourselves, you know, um, do people find out that we have certain things? That people that, I, I'm not saying I'm adopted. I don't know what's going on with my family. You know, to be honest with you, I'm just ready to move forward with my life. Uh, whatever's for me is for me. Um, but I, what I realize now is anybody out there that's, that's struggling with your family or, you know, you stuck on things that you feel like your family should have given you or blah, 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 blah. Just create your own life out of this shitty situation that you're in. That's just all that. That's all you can do. But going back to what I was saying, I just really kind of wonder um, maybe if his adoptive people had something for him or there was some type of birthright um that he was entitled to and some people knew about it or maybe he's just a star seed because he was always i he was so sweet it was just a really nice guy and um i would say that he probably was is a chosen one or is a star seed and now you know i'm not sure what's going on with him now but you know he was really kind of fucked up for a while so hopefully he's okay sending you love and light bro all right let's get to this next card here forgiveness Somebody needs to forgive somebody, as always. What is this? Somebody doesn't want to forgive their wife. Let's start, let's put some cards on this. Somebody doesn't want to forgive their wife. Well, maybe they shouldn't forgive their wife because wife came out in the reverse, which is a karmic. She's a karmic wife. Okay. There's wheels on top of here. I see wheels. Wheels. Yeah. For a wheel. Let's see. We're just going to ask Archangel Michael to come and clear out this energy so that we can give a clear and concise message for the collective. I'd also like to take whatever energy is being sent to me and uh, ask, the, uh, ask the divine to allow me to transmute that energy to work for me and for the collective to combat the enemy. 227 on the clock. I don't know why that's significant. I'm not going to look. I don't really feel like looking it up. All right, y'all. Hold on. Somebody's name is Brenda. Angel number 227 is a sign of divine guidance and encouragement from the angels. It is a message to trust yourself, your intuition, and your life purpose. It also represents spiritual knowledge, mysticism, faith, balance, and manifestation. The angels are asking you to be open to receive their help and support and to stay optimistic and persistent. So just continue to keep going collective. The angels hear you. The angels hear you. They are there to assist you if you let them. That's what I heard. But trust yourself and your intuition and your life purpose for that matter. Don't let the 311 on the clock. Don't let nobody come around and tell you who you are, what you're here to do, why you can't hear voices or see shit. Okay. And if somebody suggests you take some medication for your God given gifts, tell them to kiss your ass. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see what we got here, though. Let's give this a quick shuffle. I love these Miss Cleo Tarot cards. I just do. <clears throat> They're probably like my, you know, I got to watch what I say around my tarot cards because they get, they get real shitty. What is this? What? What the, these cats get, I'm up. Licking shit. That's just, you know, that's how they, that's how they do stuff. Okay, let's get it. If I had if I had little kids, I'd be talking shit about my kids all the time too. I don't know if they would be on camera though. Mm -mm. It ain't that damn serious. Page of coins is about an offering, manifestation actually. I thought I had to sneeze, yo. I don't like when that happens. All right, let's get it again. Let's see. We got the page of coins out here. What else with the page of coins? Can I get clarification for the page of coins? That is a that's earth sign energy, Capricorn Virgo Taurus. You could be. 
Let's see what else we got here. You know what I just heard? I heard somebody's a fucking idiot. The King of Swords in the reverse. That's some cold energy there. That's actually it's really cold, but it's pumped by it's 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 uh, fueled this this cold energy is fueled by um, emotions. Somebody who's very irrational, illogical, highly illogical. Somebody who is not uh, what was Spock a Vulcan? Yeah, in the upright, that's that's a good. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In the upright, the key, the King of Swords is like a Vulcan, like Doctor Spock, five 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 on the clock. Um, you know, the, from Star Trek, the Vulcan with the pointed ears, kind of like mine's a little bit, but his way pointed. You know, he was um, he was Captain Kirk's best friend, or the co uh, the co-pilot, co or whatever the fuck, co-captain. What is that called? What was he? But anyways, he was very cold. He was very logical. Doctor Spock did not have. He just. It wasn't in their nature to feel to have emotions. They just were. They just were about being logical. In the upright, this is illogical. Somebody, some a very illogical person is manifesting something. What are they manifesting? This could have something to do with the wife and the will, the karmic wife, but I don't know. That might have just been a message. But let's see. What is this person manifesting? The four coins. This person is very frugal. This no, not frugal. This person is stingy. This person is very stingy. The four of coins is the is the is is you know this is a very dangerous place to be in. Because right before, right after this comes the five of coins. This person is holding on to something so, de so for dear life. I just heard. Um. It's money, probably, or power. I just heard um, that it's gonna it's gonna take them into the poorhouse. They're going to be in they're going to be in a very impoverished state of being. Let me get another card, please. Yeah. See, I'm trying to tell you this is this person is guarding this um with everything that they have it's money i'm picking up it could it doesn't have to be money what is it what is it what is it the holy spirit let's get another card out here they're holding on to it and they're ready to they're ready to buy they're ready to fight for whatever it is but it's this doesn't mean that this person is karmic but they're just being illogical right now this could be somebody being highly illogical making heart overhead decisions what are they trying this person is a little stingy though Five of Cups. I'm trying to tell you they're going to be in regret. They are in regret. Maybe they're holding on to regrets for dear life. Crying over spilled milk. What else? Let me get another card here. I don't... The Holy Spirit's not telling me what this... The Three of Staffs. Um, they don't... Okay. They're holding on to something for dear life. But they're trying to manifest something. Or maybe they're making an offering. In exchange. We got the king and queen of swords. I told you it was about a wife. We got the king and queen of swords out here. This, he wants, he's trying to get rid of his wife. He's trying to hold on to some money. At wheels. I just told you. What did I just say? What did I just say? A lawyer. Somebody, mama, a lawyer. Somebody needs to, but he, forgiveness. I don't understand why forgiveness is here, but we'll figure it out. But the wife, the karmic wife, this is, they both karmic in this motherfucker though. They ain't karmic energy because they both in the reverse. This is the war of the roses. Mm -hmm. The wheels, they're fighting over money. Somebody's fighting over money. Property, money, everything. That's why he's holding on to something. Uh, but this is the king and queen of uh, swords in reverse. First of all, the king and queen of swords in the upright they they're not really a, the, the the most ideal couple they're not a very loving couple they're just really kind of cutting they're just really kind of logical they're usually together for the i don't know i was gonna say for the sake of being together but 
you know, I'm not gonna say they don't love each other, but they there's very a lot of arguing. These are air sign energies, communication, injustice. People, you know, these are these are these are people who they're better off like business partners. So they could run a business. I just heard maybe they run the business, but they're fighting over money. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they don't love each other. They don't give a fuck. They they're willing to fight for this for they're fighting over money. Wow. Well, that's not unheard of. I don't know why I said wow like that's some surprising shit. But they're fighting over money. Something of an earthly value. Yeah, somebody's being bullied. Somebody's being bullied for being a good person or trying to be a good person anyway. Who's bullying who? What's this other card that's in here? Uh, there's a fucking nightmare. Daydream in the reverse. Somebody cursed somebody. Okay, that makes sense. So is this this King of Swords is cursing his wife over some money. <laughs> he's making an offering in exchange. Okay. That's how he's ready to fight for this money. Okay, let's see what else we got here. Oh, a death curse. A spirit said that's not okay. And for you to stop being so fucking mad over some money. Whoever you are. How you gonna say? But this is the war of the roses kind of shit. This is what I'm saying. It's the war of the. It's the war of the swords. I gotta update that and then and then I with the little thumbnail. This is the war of the swords. Gift. Somebody was given a gift. What about this gift? It's a trap. <laughs> it's a trap. He's offering something to this wife. It's a trap though. They're both trying to trap each other from what I'm hearing. Yeah, hesitation. She's like, I don't know if I should take this shit. I don't know if you should take it either. It's cursed. He's trying to give you something that's cursed. It's a trap. This is why they don't like intuitives. Because why? Be on here telling it all, baby. That's what we're supposed to do, though, I guess. I don't know. We'll see if I upload this one. But somebody's wife is cursed. Somebody's husband is offering a wife a gift to curse your ass. You feel me? Yeah, but you hesitant about that shit. Don't take the gift. Maybe you just need to get to, you know, take cut your losses and go your separate way. Hold on real quick. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Yeah, so somebody's husband is uh, our ex-husband. I don't know. They're, I think that they're still married. It's offering you a, a gift that's cursed. For, and it's a death curse, too. Death magic. A death curse. If you accept this gift, it's going to be the end of your ass, is what I just heard. And yeah, he's and he's doing it unapologetically. Uh, maybe because you won't apologize. What did you do? Yep. Okay. You was indulging too much, spending too much money. Vow. Yeah. Listen. Listen. Look at here. You stepped out on your marriage. What did you do? You overindulged. You overindulged when you took a, and you didn't apologize. The worst thing to do is cheat on a man. By the way, it just is. Uh, people always want to say that women are the like crazy women. No. When you cheat on your man. It's it, that's the end of it. He does not have any more respect for you. Um, he looks at you like a fucking whore, a slut, whatever. He wants to call you in his head. He may not even say it out loud, um, but he'll pretend like he loves you. Maybe because he wants to still love you, but most times, often than not, what I've experienced, not on the receiving end of that shit, on the giving end of it. You feel me? <laughs> is that you look at the person that you once thought of as? Because see, what happens is that when a man loves you. And is willing to marry you or be in a relationship with you. He looks at you as if you're a precious jewel that you, you know, something very kind of covet. He covets, you know, that, you know, that's just how it goes. And what happens is that when somebody else touches you, you become defiled. You become something very filthy because it takes a lot for a man to actually love somebody and want to be with them. And when a man does that, they give up a part of who they are. They sacrifice a lot. And, you know, people, you can agree or disagree with that. Comment down below, whatever you want to do. But there's a five-year age difference between these people as well. But he gives up a part of who he is. It kills his player ways. You know, might clean up the house a little bit more. Might shower a little bit more. You know, buy, buy you know, don't, don't wear the same funky kind of underwear he used to wear. Maybe get some different kind of underwear. Wear a different kind of cologne. But what I'm saying is that 
a man becomes vulnerable when he falls in love with somebody. He opens up. He, 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 he gives up a lot of things to be in love. A lot of men do. And men don't really talk about it like that, but they do. And so what happens is that when a woman or a man, whoever they're with, cheats on them, it is the worst ego blow to a man. Because what you tell a man is that he's not good enough. Um, and then you try to make a man feel so then it makes a man feel stupid um, you know and then it makes him feel like his sex game is whack make him feel like he got a little dick I'm just saying that's how men feel and then it, it, it turns from very hurt because men aren't always emotionally um, uh, men don't tap into their, their feminine energy they tap into their masculine energy and the masculine energy it does not is not very rational when it comes to emotions and so men will uh, act out in very kind of it's weird because it's it's a very it's a passive aggressive it's passive aggressive and so yeah they'll look at you and then they'll, they'll look at you and then they'll go but you you know they know you don't cheated you know they i forgive you type shit but no they they really don't men do not never forgive that shit i don't care what anybody says and then they look at you every day and they go you're a fucking slut in their head they do bitch i kill you like that's the kind of thing i know that i oh, listen i'm just saying i used to like, how could you do that to me, you fucking bitch? But they still love you. They still, you know, they still love you. But they, but a man will make you pay for some shit. Women, they make you pay too. But the men, women are more forgiving about that shit. But men, nah, they never forgive you. That's what I heard. <laughs> so you must have, this woman must have, she did. She stepped out here. She stepped out the feminine energy in this relationship. Stepped out on the man. Like a fool, yep. Mm-hmm. Listen. Yeah, well, I'm telling you now, this it's the end of it's the end of that. No more celebrations for that. Yep, he contacted, he got in touch with he got in touch with the online an online reader to figure this out. Yeah, he did. Or he got in touch with the online practitioner to curse your ass. That's what I heard. Yeah, because it's it's the end of this. Yeah, that risk that him and him, him taking risk. To, to, to come together and celebrate with your ass for the foundation, for this marriage, for this engagement. It's a wrap for that. These vows. Sorry. Sorry, Chica. Um, you might have, you did something wrong though. You cheated on him. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not condoning him cursing you. I'm just saying that's what your ass get. But I'm warning you. You know what I'm saying? But you shouldn't have cheated on him. Okay. I made a mistake. No, you don't make a mistake and slip and fall on a dick. You just don't. I'd like I'd like to see that happen. I would I would like to see somebody accidentally slip and fall on a dick. Okay? It don't happen. So good 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 just shut your ass up. Okay? But he got in touch with somebody online, a tarot reader, or some type of practitioner, not a tarot reader, because let me just get that straight. Tarot readers do not curse people. If they a practitioner and in some other areas they do, but tarot readers are not here to curse people. Okay, but this is a, this is they they got in touch with a, with a, somebody online to to perform this curse. That's what I heard. Yeah, so he buy he yeah he he forgives you all right. Mm -hmm. He done bought your ass a gift and it's cursed. Ace of coins to the hermit. Listen, he trying to get away from your ass. Uh, well, he trying to make you pay. The hermit. What is the hermit in the reverse for? That's somebody coming out. He done came out of pocket. He paid a lot of money for this. That's what I just heard. Oh, yeah, baby. He finna make sure your ass pay. Dude, you ain't right either, though. Okay? He's gonna take you on a trip. He's offering to take you on a trip. I'm just telling you what the cards say. Listen, that's the two of wands. Don't go on the trip. Because he was, listen, it's a trip to lay that shit to put your ass to, to rest. Okay? Don't go on that trip. He's gifting you an opportunity, a trip. He cursed your ass though. He might not even be going on the trip. It could be. I'm. I have. You know what I just heard? A car. The two of staff talks about traveling. Whatever it is, is it's cursed. That's what I heard. That's what the card said anyway. Six of cups. The eight of swords. I'm trying to tell you. He's trapped in his head. Y'all, this is y'all been together for a long time. This man has loved you for a very long time. And he snapped. You know, he's trapped in his head about what you did. Okay. About what you did. He's trapped in the head about what you did. Seven of Swords. What did I just say? 
He's trapped in his head about what you did. He he looks at you like a like you are a she devil. Okay? You could be a succubus. So dude, if you watching this, don't give her the gift. Succubus, if you watching this, don't take the gift. Okay? Somebody need to, but you, he really should heal about this. Just walk away and heal, bro. That's what I heard. Yeah. <clears throat> and stop, and stop. Yeah, thank you, Holy Spirit. Okay. Walk away and heal. Eight of Cups to the star. Go get, go get, get the therapist, bro. Stop doing death spells. Again, stop doing death spells. These cards are right after each other. Stop going to this high priestess. Online, whoever you didn't coupled up with is a high priestess who's about death. A death priestess? Is that even a thing? A death priestess? Well, that's what the hell she doing. Okay. Anything else? Stop talking. Leave the death priestess alone. But lady, you should stop cheating. 3100 when I look down. Shut up, cat. Ain't nothing that serious this morning. Ran around my ass. Okay. What is this? It's a reminder that abundance and good luck are on the way. This number is a sign that positive changes are coming and that you can trust in yourself. This number is a message of encouragement and support from your guardian angels. Broski, throw away the curse gift. Don't offer her the trip or the car. You're going to go to jail or hell if you give that to her and something happens to this bitch. Now, lady, apologize to this man again, but move out. It is over. He's trying to hurt you because you're a slut. That's what he called you in his head anyway. You ain't no damn fool neither. You know that this man is mad at you. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you think you got away with some shit. But what he don't want, what you don't want him to know is that you're still messing around with the dude that you was being fucked around with him on. I can see that shit. You definitely have been. And he gonna fuck you up. If you continue to play in his face like that, that ain't right. Neither is abuse, though. Let me, let me throw that in there. He ain't got no right to fuck you up neither. But that's what you you playing in his face. You should just walk away from this man. Okay? But remember the word of roses now to the both of y'all. The both y'all. Neither one of them was willing to walk away from the relationship over some petty ass money. And then what happened at the end on that chandelier was priceless. They both died. And both of them probably went to hell too. Just saying. This shit make me scared to get in a relationship. You feel me? It really do. Because people. Let me send, send you out with some high vibing energy. Damn. People be fucking shit up for people. Raise your vibration. <laughs> okay, both of you motherfuckers. I make way for miracles. It's in the reverse. Raise your vibration. A miracle will happen for you too. Damn, just leave each other alone. Shit. I call my power back. Call your power back from this lady. Sir. You can't. That's. It's not. Vengeance belongs to God. Not you. He like, fuck that bitch. She hurt me, slept with my friend. Probably was one of his friends, too. Listen, I ain't, I'm out of it. I didn't already told you. As a man, though, bro, I feel you. I feel you. I'm not condoning what you about to do, about to give her, trying to curse her. But overall, don't do it. It's just you racking up some bad juju. Okay? We're going to close out this reading, though. I'm your Uncle 79, the Spiritual Savage. Grandmother fucking rising. It's 7-11 as we end this. Somebody's lucky day. So it should be. Somebody or somebody getting lucky this morning. It ain't me. It's, well, not in that way. The other way, I'll take it. But in the other way, I had that. But it's January 28, 2024. It's 29 degrees Fahrenheit, like I said earlier. And cloudy. It's hazy. All right, y'all, I'm out. Remember, you grow, I grow, I grow, you grow, we grow together. It's always love and light around this bitch. And as always, I love you. Take it easy today. I'll be back. Deuces. Savage.